This is Mountaineer Football Highlights with Randy Kitts. Appalachian jumped out to an early 7-0 lead just three minutes into the ballgame after engineering a 71-yard play that would culminate in an 11-yard touchdown drive by senior running back Devin Moore, his first of three scores on the night. A 39-yard field goal by ASU's Jason Viteris early in the second quarter would give Appalachian a 10-0 lead with 14-13 left before the half. The outs were held scoreless until the final three minutes before the game's intermission. At the 2 minute and 58 second mark, quarterback DeAndre Presley found wide receiver Brian Quick on a 6 yard strike, putting the Mountaineers up 17-0. Presley rebounded back after throwing two interceptions against Georgia Southern to complete 15 of his first 17 passes and finish with 192 yards on 17 of 26 completions overall. The ensuing kickoff resulted in a forced fumble by Appalachian's Brad Hardy and was recovered by Patrick Blaylock. Three plays later, Moore would bring it in from five yards out and extend Appalachian's lead to 24-0 at the half. Moore finished with a season-high 115 yards on 17 carries, turning in his first 100-yard effort of the season and the eighth of his career. On the second play of the second half, ASU's defensive end John Reiser recovered a terrier fumble that would give Appalachian the ball on Wofford's 34-yard line. Reiser finished with a career-high nine tackles overall. Presley found Quick two plays later on a 34-yard touchdown pass to increase the Mountaineer lead to 34-0 with 13.25 left to go in the third. Defensive back Dominique McDuffie recovered yet another Wofford fumble, their third of four on the night, just two minutes later. The fumble recovery would lead to Moore's third and final score of the game, giving Appalachian his largest lead of the night at 38-0 at the 11 minute and 22 second mark. The alleged number one rushing attack in the nation would finally put points on the board with just a minute and a half left to play in the third quarter when Wofford's Brian Cass made a 30-yard touchdown pass to Brenton Burson to cut the lead 38-7. Senior kicker Viteris booted a 50-yard field goal with 12 minutes and 23 seconds left to play, increasing ASU's lead to 41-7. The field goal was the longest achieved by a Mountaineer since Mark Wright in 2000 against Troy State. The Terriers made a final comeback attempt with just under five minutes remaining when Cass scored on a five-yard run. The ensuing extra point kick was blocked by McDuffie, however, and the black and gold's Troy Sanders would return it for a defensive two-point conversion to seal Appalachian's sixth straight SOCON title with a 43-13 victory. Sanders' scoring return was the second of the season and just the third in ASU history. With the win, the Mountaineers improved to 9-1 overall and 7-1 in the SOCON. The defeat secured Appalachian's automatic berth in the Division I football championship playoffs. While ASU clinched no less than a share of the SOCON title, Wofford must lose to Chattanooga in order for the Aps to claim the championship outright. The sixth consecutive title ties the SOCON record for consecutive conference crowns, originally set by Georgia Southern from 1997 to 2002. The SOCON championship is Appalachian's 11th in 39 seasons in the conference. <laughs>